Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's Alice Al Tech Tutorial brought to you by Alice Al Ed Tech. Today, we are going to look at the Slide Master, and I'm going to show you just a few tips and tricks that may help you with that. And so, if you're not sure what a Slide Master is, I'm going to take you over here for Chromey the Chromebook. And what we've done with Chromey the Chromebook is we've actually made a, a Slide Master. And so, what does that mean? So, what we've done is for some of these younger kids, you don't want them to be able to play with certain features in the background. So some of this has to do with a slide master and some of it has to do with just putting things in the background. But for example, if you look at this slide, the only thing that I can actually interact with and move is this text box right here. Everything you can see it's clicked to add title. Everything else has been put in the slide master on this slide. So for example, this slide, you can see this is in the background, the picture, this text is in the background. Over here, the only thing that I can move are these animals. So, how did we do that? Well, first of all, where is the Slide Master located? And that kind of will show you how to do it. So here, if I go to View, right here, and I go down to Master. Yes, it's that simple, Slide Master. Now, what you'll notice here is there's a few slides that we've actually made as, that you can see as Slide Masters. For example, this slide right here. You can see here that I've I put, um, first of all, I put these pictures in the background, and then what I did is I inserted text boxes over these individual uh, features um, for kids to be able to click in there and change those. So like again, looking at this Chromey the Chromebook right here, this is inserted in the background and I put a text box in here um, and think about this as like the title or the body of your slide. So literally, if I come back to my presentation, if I go to layout over here, I can see I can literally click and add this slide. And again, why is that beneficial? Because right here's the text box, right? Everything else is in the background. So let me show you um, how I kind of went about this and give you a few tips and tricks that hopefully will help. Um, so first of all, I'm going to start here with a blank layout. And let's start with something simple. For example, let's say I want a Venn diagram, okay? So rather than putting my circles in here, okay, holding shift to make it the perfect circle, Dragging it over, right? We need to make it probably a little transparent. So let's pick uh, this yellow, but I want it to be transparent. So I come back here, I do custom. Remember, if I'm going too fast for you, please, you can slow down the speed on YouTube, or you can also rewind it, okay? That makes it a little transparent. Can I click on this? I'm actually gonna hit Command D and drag this over. Okay, now, of course, probably want a little bit more overlapping for students. Okay, right here, and probably I'm going to want to change this color. I can go to custom and change it here. Again, you can see it's transparent. Okay, so I have these two colors. Here's my Venn diagram. Well, first of all, here's my problem, right? How am I going to, where am I going to put all the text boxes, right? How am I going to get the students to stop moving the diagram? Um, so let me give you kind of some suggestions. And um, so, first of all, I want to put these in the background. So one way I can do this is is actually, I'm gonna cut these, and instead, I'm going to go to View, I'm gonna to go to my master, I'm just gonna pick a, this, maybe this blank slide here, and I'm gonna put paste, all right? Now, if I close it down now, when I go to layout, I can actually see the blank slide here. Now look, right now you can see these shapes are in the background. Well, Ben, we still need text boxes. So here's a way, again, so that every time they could add a text box, when they add this slide. So again, I'm going to go to master. I'm going to come here and I'm going to add a text box. So I'm actually going to have to put one of these. Title placeholder, subtitle placeholder, or body text holder. Well, this is going to kind of be smaller text, so I'm typically going to do like a body placeholder. So I can put this here, right? And this shows me the size of the text at each level. I can change the text here if I want to. Okay, just command all. Kind of get all my default set. Let's say I want it at Roboto and I want the default size to be 12, I just want everything 12. Then I can duplicate this, put it over here so they can type in this one. And finally, okay, let's see, are these lined up? I'll get this one a little bit up. Finally, click it, hit Command D, bring this here. Okay, for this one, I might want to have it centered, right? Or all of these, actually, Command A, selecting all. Having it centered here, same thing, might be okay with this. 
So you can see what this looks like here. Now if I close this master down, you can see here I already have my text boxes where I want them to be, right here, so they can click and add text as they need to. And for this one it's not perfectly in the middle, I can always play and adjust that later. But then the cool thing is now I can come back up here and anytime I need to add a new Venn diagram, here it is. Again, the shapes are in the back so I can't move them. Um, my text boxes, obviously I can see where they are because it says click to add text, which is nice. Um, so this is just a little bit of a few of the tips and tricks for the Slide Master. Again, you can put shapes in there um, in the background so that they can't be moved and then you can throw the text boxes as needed on top. And so then if we go back over here to where did Chromia the Chromebook go? Go over here back to Chromia the Chromebook, you can see some of these again, how these work is that they were created in the Slide Master. And so I can't move these boxes, but I can move these boxes. Um, I can't, the only thing I can move in here is this part. Everything else I can't move. Um, over here again, you can see here, it doesn't always look the best, but it's definitely, I think, the best workaround for um, having as little things as you can for kids to move around and also being able to have kids be able to create their own Venn diagram, right? And boom, here's my slide. And there you go. And there it is. So hopefully this helps a little bit with um, the tips and tricks for creating slide masters, why you would want to create them, and a few tricks about them.